Welcome to day 59. Arbitrary finger raising. So, I just weighed myself, and I had to get Courtney to come and weigh herself to see if the scale was acting weird. Our scale, for some reason, half the time when you step on it, says you're like 10 pounds lighter than you really are. So you have to step off and step back on. Usually after one or two iterations, it recalibrates and is fine. I weighed myself about 10 times five minutes ago, and it kept saying that I'd lost 11 pounds since yesterday, which is possible with a big whoosh, but that's a little extreme. So after she weighed herself and it was normal, I stepped back on and it was fine. I have lost weight. It's a three pound loss since yesterday. So as of right now, we're down 26 pounds since starting this. Obviously some of that can still fluctuate up and down, but this is the lowest we've been, down to 166, which is super depressing, but like I said, we're going to be small at the end of this, so it's to be expected. So I am starting off and ending with two pints again. I'll tell you, I'm just jumping right into it. I keep doing it, so might as well get it all ready at once. So this is going to be a little over on calories. This is 270 and this is 260. So I'm probably going to leave like a little bit on the bottom of one or both of them just because, especially since we're starting to get so lean and I'd like to not steal a lot of my protein. So chocolate fudge brownie. I think I've had this once in the project. This is a really good one for the calories. It's 10 more calories than chocolate therapy, which I almost have since I've been having that a lot. I figured I'd switch up and have this one. So very simple. It's chocolate ice cream with fudge brownies. About as simple as it gets for Ben and Jerry's, but it's still really good. Hopefully I don't wish I picked chocolate therapy all the time, but we'll finish with half baked. So it doesn't matter. It just matters what you end with, right? So, where is it? I just lost it. The brownie, just gonna look like ice cream, but I don't know what the deal is with this one. Normally, Ben and Jerry's brownies are freaking awesome. But these are like super dry and pretty terrible. They're just like crazy old and they're no... They're normally all gooey and chewy and just awesome. These literally just seem like they've been left out on the counter for two months. Not great. All right, since this one is kind of sucking, and the browners are old, I'm gonna leave that on the bottom to make up for some of these extra calories and move on to the half-baked. Hopefully this hasn't melted while I sat and ate that one. Doesn't look bad. Yeah, I think we did good. I microwave them both a little bit less than normal. I think I did like 23 seconds per since I knew they'd be sitting for a while and it took me forever to weigh myself. So they sat for even longer. Mm. If you haven't seen any of the million half-baked videos, oh my God, the description reads, you're gonna spill ice cream everywhere. It is chocolate and vanilla ice creams mixed with gobs of chocolate chip cookie dough and fudge brownies. I don't think I've eaten anything during this, even close to as much as I've eaten half-baked, especially lately, but it's just so good. It's just so much for the calories. All right, leaving a little bit in the bottom of this one as well. Finish with a brownie. It's a little bit there. And it's just a, about a half an inch on the bottom. Mm. I think that evens out our calories. Brownies in this one definitely make up for the brownies in that one. I'm sure they're bound to just have, you know, crappy brownies every once in a while. It's probably unavoidable. So with the amount of Ben and Jerry's I've been eating. I'm actually kind of surprised that's the first crappy one I've had. So that is it. I've got, got some freaking homework to work on today. Some discussion posts. Since I started my new class, I'm not really sure what to expect from it. I sort of glanced over it, but I don't know how much work it's really going to be. I've got to make some flow chart thing. So I don't know. Could take a while. Could be super easy. We'll see. Oh. Let me show you something. So I just got this new gaming headset. Pretty nice. Goes in and out. Look at that. Whoa, fancy. So 
I've had them for like two days. And last night, I'm playing, and they just stopped working. And I'm like, what the hell? So I just unplugged them and figured, I don't know, maybe they died. They weren't charging while they were plugged into the computer for some reason. Who knows? So this morning I go, and I'm trying to charge them, and nothing's happening. So I go to the cord, and look at that. The freaking dog already chewed a hole in the cord. So I'm going to have to figure out how to replace this. Luckily, it's not like the actual headphones. The headphones themselves are independent of any actual cords. They just plug in. And this one just goes, oh, is it actually? Oh, okay, that's good. I was thinking. So I've been having trouble with these ever since I got them. I've been, I think maybe the USB is faulty or something because it keeps like cutting in and out. So like since the moment I got them, so I know that she didn't chew them and then I was having that problem right away. So I was gonna have to replace this anyway, but I was just gonna call the company and try to get a replacement. So now I don't know, I may have to pay for it since I can't prove that they were messed up before she chewed them. So we'll see, but that's good. I was for some reason thinking it was this part that wasn't working, so I was gonna have to get both replaced. So anyway, it's not like I have to buy another $100 headset, but I do have to replace this. So it's a sweet way to start the morning and I don't have a headset to play tonight. So awesome. By the way, I'm not 100% sure. I've already ordered some of the stuff, so maybe. And I sold my other brand new in the box 15 inch MacBook Pro to get a PC. I'm probably gonna be starting another YouTube channel, a gaming channel. So we'll see, unless I just decide not to in the next couple days, because I don't wanna spend the money, but I've already got the computer built and everything, well, built in the cart, ready to order. So probably starting that, we'll see. Hopefully that's the plan, but who knows. It's entirely possible to change my mind, but probably doing it. 